at least when I drink tea, I want I want to get as much as I can out of my food. If you're drinking uh, uh, milk uh, or, or cow milk, dairy, put it in your tea, you're getting good flavor if you if that's what you like, but you're missing out on all as, as most of the uh, polyphenols. So just be aware that that's what you're actually doing. Hey everyone, today we're diving into an intriguing question what happens when you put milk into tea. Whether you're a tea enthusiast or just curious, this video will break it all down for you. Let's get started by understanding the basics. Tea is one of the most popular beverages worldwide, and many people love adding milk to it. But have you ever wondered what actually happens when you mix milk with tea? You know those scientists that do television shows to actually uh, make science accessible to people? This is kind of where we need to go with this, this topic. So look, tea, green tea uh, especially, has a natural polyphenol that's called catechins, EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, uh, EGCG. And the catechin is actually just part of the natural substance of the tea leaf. So whether you're um, brewing tea with a bag or whether it's loose leaf tea or whether it's matcha, which is just powdered tea leaves, um, the fact of the matter is that into the brew, into the liquid, the hot liquid, uh, comes all these phytochemicals, including these catechins. So when you sip straight tea, the catechins go right in. They're easily absorbed uh, by your body. And so, you know, your, our blood levels of catechins go way up. So many things that catechins can do. One of the things that's important is actually it's, it's a relaxant. It actually helps lower your stress. It lowers the catecholamines. And so uh, other things, it helps your lipids. It actually also helps fight cancer. It's anti-inflammatory. Kind of like curcumin, it's, it's a substance that has so many beneficial things that at least when I drink tea, I want I want to get as much as I can out of my food. All right. Now, I, res I deeply respect traditions of yeah, of eating and drinking. And one of the things that, um, you know, I know is a tradition in England is, you know, you put, or in Ireland, you actually put some milk or cream into your tea. It actually um, changes the flavor profile. Uh, and, and it's lovely. I, I you know, I've, I've had plenty of teas in England before, and, and I, I, I find it to be just such an uh, incredibly uh, nice, I feel great, you know, sort of like having uh, an English uh, tea. Put dairy in it. Here's what you need to know. Dairy, and I'm talking about cow dairy, right? So not not nut milk. This is applies to cow dairy. We'll come back to the nut milk in a second. Cow dairy, okay, actually is fat. Milk has got fat in it, like butter, which is made out of milk. And um, and the fat, when you put it into your tea, does change its flavor. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the fact that when milk or cream is put into tea, the fat molecules in the cow dairy form little soap bubbles. These are microscopic soap bubbles. They're called micelles. Fat likes to stick with fat. And so um, tea is mostly water. And so when you pour milk in the tea, the, the bubbles, the, the dairy fat sticks together and a little makes a little tiny soap bubble. And what does it do? Those soap bubbles trap the polyphenols from tea. It traps the catechin. So you've got some good stuff wrapped in the soap bubble of, of dairy. And now when you drink the tea, the catechin is trapped in the soap bubble. It doesn't get absorbed as easily in your stomach and it just rolls down your gut and a lot of it comes out the other end, okay? And so you're missing out on a lot of the good stuff. You get a great, you know, you get a nice flavor. And so I have, you know, what I'm telling you is that if you're drinking milk uh, or, or cow milk, dairy, put it in your tea, you're, you're, getting, the, you're getting good flavor. If you if that's what you like, but you're missing out on all as as most of the uh, polyphenols. So just be aware that that's what you're actually doing. Now, if you want to add, you still cut the tea with something that is uh, milk-like. Nut milks are fine because they don't actually f have the same fatty reaction that the wow. dairy cow dairy has. So almond milk, uh, cashew milk, um, uh, those those soy milks, they're all fine. Catechins are known for their ability to help in reducing inflammation, improving heart health and even potentially lowering the risk of certain cancers. Research has shown that adding milk to tea can actually reduce the bioavailability of these catechins. The proteins in milk, particularly casein, can bind with the catechins, making them less available for your body to absorb. This means that while you're still getting some benefits, they might not be as potent as if you were drinking your tea without milk. In conclusion, adding milk to tea does alter its nutritional profile, but it doesn't mean you have to give it up. Enjoy your tea in a way that fits your lifestyle and makes you happy. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of tea and milk. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness content.
Let us know in the comments how you like your tea milk or no milk. Until next time, enjoy your cup of tea.